So we can see that we all are in need of God. Not just to say an empty prayer and then think that we have a ticket to heaven, but it's actually a lifestyle that you live. It's actually something that you live out, something that you do in your life. You see, the Bible says that we're not saved by our own works, but rather it's a gift from God. But then it says we've been created in Christ Jesus for good works. So you don't do stuff to gain salvation, but when you become saved, when you become a Christian, in other words, then something is produced in your life. Something is produced in and through you. Good works, it says, comes out. It says this, it says you, a bad tree can't bear good fruit and a good tree can't bear bad fruit. So is Jesus just telling us, teaching us about trees so we can be knowledgeable about nature? No, rather the, the good tree represents a Christian. It says a Christian can't bear bad fruit, which means a Christian can't continue in sins. That's what the Bible says. And those who are bad trees is talking about unbelievers, people who truly don't obey Jesus as their Lord, people who truly don't love God though they might say it with their mouth, by their deeds they deny Him. So those people, it says, a bad tree can't bear good fruit. So that means anyone who's an unbeliever, anyone who's separated from Christ that's not truly obeying Him, they can't bear any good fruit. They truly, they, they can't do anything good. Yeah, they can't do anything good because it's truly, there's a selfish motive. There's a selfish motive that's behind them. Yeah, yeah. Anyone who's an, an unbeliever. You guys do more you can, falsehood to the cause of Christ you can give, than anybody. Why is that? Because you're so wrong in your theology. Teach me I how. Have a theology. How? How? How am I wrong? You, you wouldn't even listen, so it's not worth me trying to... I'm listening right now. I'm asking you. You are wrong on most of the shit. The guy last week... It was ridiculous. Y'all are doing more negative to the cause of Christ. But well, now you're stereotyping me because I wasn't here last week. Even the fact that you said a curse word, the Bible says out of the abundance of the mouth, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So that reveals that in your heart, in Greek, which I in your heart, read, right. Paul cursed all the time. The original language, I don't know how to do it anymore. That was 30, 40 years ago. Paul cursed all the time. It's not cursing that words aren't the thing that makes us evil. It's damning other people that makes us evil. Thank you. The Bible specifically it's, says you'll be judged by your words. You're missing the point. The only place in the Bible that the word wicked is used is for the people that were supposed to be believers. It's never issued towards the people that were unbelievers. The only people in the, in, especially the New Testament, well, Old Testament too. This is Officer P. <laughs> Officer P. Thank you for your service. So you're, you're, you're telling me that all of your theology degree, you've got that cursing is okay, 